what's going on everybody this is brother donald here on jc tribe i just want to make this short video real fast but that i feel burning inside of my heart is that two thousand years ago when jesus came here to earth it says in first corinthians 14 that jesus when he died on the cross that he defeated death he defeated satan he defeated and he outruled all his powers it says that it says oh death where is your sting oh hell where is your victory so the thing is is as us believers we have to hold on to the promises of god we got to hold on and say satan you have no power over me jesus died on the cross two thousand years ago for me when jesus died on the cross not only when he died did he break the power of sin that may be ruling over your life but he also broke all power and dominion that satan has over you or that satan may think he has over you but if you're a child of god and you're listening to this i'm here to tell you that no matter what your situation is no matter what your circumstance no matter what mental battle you're going through what heart issue you're going through is that satan has been defeated on the cross jesus stepped on him on the cross so if you feel like satan is having his way in your life if you're feeling that satan has some kind of rule or he's destroying you or he's doing harming you i'm here to tell you that he's only here to deceive you he's only he, the only power he can do is th make you think that he has power over you but i'm here to tell you that he does not have if you're god's child if you're the if you're a son and daughter of the lord jesus christ satan has no power over you the only thing he can do is make you believe and deceive you that's his one of his greatest tactics is deception so he wants to deceive you and make you think that he is harming you and doing something to you but god is greater than satan god is greater than any demon god is greater jesus is greater he's conquered he won the victory for you if you're facing something in your life now you don't know how you're going to make it if you're going through something okay god jesus is on your side if you're his daughter if you're his son he's on your side satan cannot do anything to you that god will, will, will ha, doesn't have any say so in if satan wants to do something to you god has to say so god has the command he has the authority so you have to step on satan you have to step on every of those demons you have to say get under my feet demon get under my feet devil you have no power because what he does this is what he does is let's say you're looking at a sign and the sign says jesus won the victory satan has no power if satan's going to stand on the side of you he's going to try to distract you and say don't look at that sign don't look at it, it it's there but you, you try to tell satan you say look yeah but it says you lost already he says no no don't look at it he may he wants you to reverse and look the other way make a 180 he wants you to look the other way and don't look at that don't pay attention to the fact that he lost he doesn't want you to pay attention to the fact that he lost on the cross he lost only one only thing he wants you to do is deceive you and make you think that he didn't lose but he lost already so what does that mean that means if he's telling you lie if he's lying to you if he's telling you that you, if he's condemning you if he's lying to you if he's telling you that you're undefeated i'm here to tell you that he's lying to you that he's not telling you the truth jesus won the victory for you remember that so now what we have to do is we have to hold on to the promise of god we have to hold on to the promise that jesus has the last say so that jesus won the victory he won your victory he won your victory over depression he won your victory over anxiety he won your victory from any issue that seems to be impossible right now okay only thing satan wants to do is get you distracted don't look at that cross he doesn't want you to look at the cross of christ he wants you to look at your situation he wants to he wants to lie to you and say that god's not there for you he wants to say that he wants to lie to you and tell you god is not working for you he wants to lie to you and tell you that jesus is not for you but if you're on the side of jesus if he's your lord and savior who can come against god who can come against jesus christ he has to say so if he's the lord over your life that means he's the master over your life if jesus is the master over your life that means nobody else can rule you can't have two masters if satan if satan and the devils and the demons they're acting like they're your master 
and you say that Jesus is your master, you have to know who is your sir, who is your master, who is your Lord, okay? If Jesus is your Lord, Satan has no power. Satan has no say so. So when, and then this is it. Now, when you stand on that, this is what causes an issue for Satan. This is what causes an issue for the devil is when you take that promise of God and when you say, Satan, I know what Jesus did. I know what God did for me on the cross. I know that you're a liar. You got to tell them. You got to tell the devils this. You got to tell the demons this. When you say, Satan, I know that you're a liar. I know that you're, you're a defeated foe. You already lost the war. You lost already. When you look into his eyes and you tell him this, he has, he has to run. He flees. The Bible says when you resist the devil and look to God, he will flee from you. So the first thing you have to do is resist Satan. You have to resist him. You have to say, you lost already. And now you have to turn to God, look to his promise and say, Jesus, you won the victory. All power and might is in your hands. My brothers and sisters, stand on the word of God. Stand on the word. Stand on the promise of God. Put Satan under your feet. Put every demon, every devil that is lying to you, put it under your feet. If they're telling you that you you're if they're if they're lying to you and telling you that Jesus is not for you, you take the Bible, you say, if God is for me, who can be against me? If they tell you that your situation is impossible, if the devil and the demons they keep lying to you and they tell you your situation is possible, you tell them all things are possible to those. All things are possible in God to those who believe. You gotta take the scripture. You stand on it. You stand on the promise of God. And you tell the devil, you put him in his place. You tell him you say, devil, I'm putting you on you got eviction notice. Get out. You've trespassed too long. You get out. Okay? You've had too much, too much, you've been lying to me too long. Time for you to go in Jesus' name. And he, the Bible says, when you resist him and you look to God, he shall flee. My brothers and sisters, I bless you now. And I, let me just pray real fast. Father, I just pray for those who are listening, to, the, to those who just listen to this. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you speak to their heart. You give them boldness and courage to stand on your promises, to fight the good fight, and to put the enemy under their feet. And to stand on your promise. And to know that Jesus, if God is for them, who can be against them? In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray all this. God touch their hearts. Give them the boldness from heaven. Give them your, give them your love from heaven. But give them your courage to stand on your promise. And open up their mouths boldly to make known the promises of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray it over myself also in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless. Godspeed.